Hello again, I'm Atanas from Nice to Filmio and you're watching the third episode of my series Adapting to COVID-19. In this video, I will introduce you to a young and energetic lady who dedicated her life to a sporty and healthier lifestyle and sharing her knowledge with others. We made the interview in her kitchen, which after COVID is not a regular kitchen anymore. It has become also a gym, office and a studio. It has become the kitchen of a new beginning. Meet Jen who adapted her kitchen, her business and her life to the new reality. If you want to see more exciting stories of people and businesses that changed because of the pandemic, subscribe to my channel. Stay positive and enjoy the adventure called life. Thank you. So hi, my name's Jen and I am from Liverpool and I run a health and fitness business based here in Liverpool called One Body Fitness, where I provide fitness classes, one-to-one -one training and basically anything to do with health and the body, you will find me doing that. Before lockdown, I was going from venue to venue, teaching in different gyms, teaching in different community centres, training clients face-to-face and a lot of it was it was all face-to-face -face contact i go from one venue to the other and my days would be pretty busy traveling around liverpool seeing different people teaching different classes all throughout liverpool and going into some community centers as well and also seeing one-to-one -one clients so seeing them one-to-one -one and being able to train them and then of course i have done this for 10 years in business now but i've done my job for 16 years so for the past 10 years this is what i've done i've built up a community i've built up a following and then i've obviously built up different venues that i can go to throughout to be able to teach so i've got a lot of extra resources as well so my business even though it is called one body fitness i believe in treating the body as holistic so we're not just about our body so i'm training people to live a happier healthier life I'm working with people's mindset. So I've got a lot of additional resources on the website that people can go to. I also do a podcast as well where I try and educate people. So by educating them, it allows them to take the tools that they're learning and adapt them into their lives. And I've written programs to help people in all different ways. I've written things about the mind. So there's, there's like gratitude journals on there, but I'm also really interested in, in hormonal health for women. So I do a lot of stuff into that and delve into that and do a lot of study. I've got a lot more time to study now because I'm not traveling all around Liverpool. So that's really helped because that is going to help me grow as a person, but it's going to help my business grow. And I'm all about empowering people and trying to help people just be the best version they can of themselves. And I think that's what my business is all about. And I hope that I've been able to do that during lockdown so far. And then came March last year when obviously COVID hit. The week before we went into lockdown, gyms started to close. They started to take the classes off. They started to get in touch with us and just let us know that like it was time that no classes were going ahead first. The gym stayed open, but it was like the classes that got let go first. And then it come to lockdown. The hardest moment definitely has been the mindset side of things. That week before we went into lockdown, I think I just went into a complete panic mode. I was stressing. I was worried I was going to lose everything. And I think it's that fear of the unknown. We, no one knew anything. No one knew. We were all in limbo. We'd never been in this situation before. And I think the mindset for me has been... It, it's been hard some days I've struggled and the only thing that's kept me going is knowing that I've still got a business to run and I've still got to empower and help other people and that's kind of been my motivation but I'm not gonna lie even though I'm like a smiley happy person there's been days where I've been in a, a dark place and I've been like struggling and mentally for myself but I think it's important that we recognize that so I do think the beginning when it first started and then I've had little blips in between where I've definitely just felt like it's all getting a bit too much. Um, and then now you, sometimes you worry, like, is this going to continue? Or is this just going to be a point where it's not going to work anymore? And I think anyone in business is going to have that worry. But I think it just shows that you care because <laughs> it do worry a bit about it. And it locked down. And my, my, that week before we were locking down, I was thinking in my head, I need to do something. There's something that I need to do. So I did a week of free online classes. I just done loads of classes online, kind of got the energy up, got people knowing that this is what's to come. And I personally thought it was only going to be a few weeks. I thought it'll be a few weeks and we'll be back to normal. And then we got told we were going into lockdown and I lost everything really because with my, with working for myself, no one's going to furlough me. So I'd gone from having really busy weeks to then literally having nothing. But in my head, I was like, I've had this business for 10 years. I'm not going to lose it. I've got to do something. So I set up an online fitness studio and I provide classes, live classes every single day throughout the week. 
and I've been doing that now for the past 11 months. So people who join can either join on a weekly membership, they join on a monthly membership, they get a lot of extra support, we get classes, we've got a WhatsApp group, I give them recipes and there's also on-demand classes. So as well as the live classes, they get access to all the previous classes. So up to now, there's probably about 550 classes in the group that people can go and do. I was also contacted by some corporate places, so I provide classes for like workplaces and for big companies as well online, and that's gone really well. I miss like interaction with people, missing people seeing smile, missing them seeing them sweating, them giving me the evil eye because I've given them something really crazy to do, and that interaction with people, that social element, because obviously at the moment, I'm talking to myself into a camera and all I ever see is myself on screen. So obviously I miss those type of things and the getting to see people and I have like I've made a lot of friendships as well throughout the years of doing this so it's the social things that we have away from the fitness the being able to meet up and just go for a couple with class members as I think that's a big part of what I do I don't just run a business I do it don't just do it for the money I do it because I care about people so I do miss that side of things not being able to just interact with people so it was just adapting the business I think this is the way the fitness industry would have went I do think it was going in this way but I think we've been fast forwarded and kind of catapulted into it to be able to do it. And right now that is where I'm at. This is my kitchen. This is where I teach from and I managed to ch turn it into kind of a fitness studio. I have my disco light, I have my light and my music and my speaker. And with good old technology, I was able to keep my business running nearly a year later. I think for me, online is, is, is going to be the way forward. I'm obviously going to go back at some point to face-to-face, -face, whenever that is. But I do think the online thing is, is the future for me, the way, that, the way that it is. I can just reach so many more people and I have a lot more freedom in what I can do. So I do think I'll, I'm definitely going to stay with online, but I will go back to some face-to-face -face stuff because I miss people, I miss seeing people. But the future for me is definitely... Um, it's definitely made me grow as a person and as a business and step into something that I always wanted to do, but now I, like, I've stepped into it going online and being able to provide that. So it's definitely a thumbs up for me for online.